We are on the road in the beautiful Great Plains of Nebraska. Let's get to it. So we're driving down the highway, little lost. So I really shouldn't be lost because I'm from Nebraska. I've always wanted to go home, back home to Nebraska, but what? I believe Grant even moved over here. So if you didn't know, a big corporation bought a lot of land in the state of Iowa big ethanol plant went up they bought all of our land they gave us such a price that I couldn't refuse uh, so I ended up selling the whole dealership the farmland everything I got the 8400 here with the loader on my old international truck sounds about ready to blow up but it's making it all right. It's had a long drive. Looks like we're pulling up to a little town here. I don't, I did buy a piece of land here. So we got a really high price on the land from the corporation. So we have a little bit of money. If you see that up there, I don't know how much that's gonna go into land. I did buy a small piece of land uh, just kind of to get my feet wet. Uh, I've always had a dream to come back to Nebraska. I grew up in Nebraska. I grew up on a small town in Nebraska. I went into the military. Then I decided, you know, I uh, took over my uncle's farm. Now that that didn't work out, I'm finally back in Nebraska. Let's see if we can... Uh, find some directions from this Route 66 gas station here. I also need to fill it with some gas. So this thing rode great all the way here to Nebraska. So I was thinking on not bringing this along. So I have three trucks I'm bringing and that's all I brought. So the, the Silver Bullet made it. The 8400R made it with the loader and the Vermeer baler. So everything else I'm going to probably have to slowly buy around here. Uh, I really don't know where I'm at. And phone service isn't the great... The cell service isn't the greatest around here. So I don't think my GPS is working correctly. Let's see if I can find somebody. So the gas station wasn't really any help. Uh, guess I'm going to have to uh, drive around this town. I know it's on the outskirts of this town somewhere, but I'm not for sure where. I forgot how flat the Great Plains of Nebraska were. This place is almost completely flat. That's probably why I'm so lost. I'm so used to seeing some type of landmark or indication that I can go off of. When you don't have that, it's really hard to find out where you're going. Uh, yeah, let's turn here. Don't think it's over there. I guess that's the co-op, maybe? Yep. We are in Wacoville. City, so that's the Wacoville co-op there Looks like Big John's welding right there. They do look like they have a lot of nice businesses hmm. Wish I could find somebody around here that might be able to give me some directions uh, I really like how big and open the fields are around here There is some giant I mean giant farmyards around here uh, this is like you no other farmyard so look just look at this farmyard that we're gonna pull up now I don't know whose farmyard this is but so the area that we were in almost all the farmers got bought out 
So I'm pretty sure this is either Jake, Buck, Jake or Buck. But I mean, just look at this farmyard. This is a masterpiece over here. Yeah, they got all them buildings and one one little bitty tractor in them. That's kind of impressive. Uh oh, I think we went down the wrong road. Uh oh, we are going through the mud now. Uh oh, I I guess I'm gonna keep going. I can't turn around. I'll definitely get stuck then. At least I have a big tractor on the back I can pull out. This thing's still driving. Oh man. Oh man. Oh. Uh oh. I think I'm gonna give us a little push. I turned in the wrong direction here. Alright, so. We got this buried. Uh, I'm going to try to get the 84 off and give it a little push because uh, definitely need to get the weight off of it. Start this up. It's always a good thing when you're pulling a tractor. Uh, you just kind of have something to pull you out of the mud. All right. Uh, I think we will lower this. Don't want to scrape up my trailer too much. And I guess uh, push this along. Don't want to pick up the back of the trailer. There we go. Come on, there we go. There. It. Ooh, yeah, come on. Come on, you got it. You got it. You got it. Come on, you got it. Come on. So I got all the duels spinning on this thing. It is really digging for some traction. Uh-oh. We are really worried if we go in the field it'll even be worse we just like to get out of this little ditch area there we go there we go all right so I'm gonna back this up a little bit I'm gonna see I'm not in a wet spot at least I'm gonna see if I can do a Yui and start headed out back uh, maybe I can drive better traction in the field because I am having no luck in this road here. So the field is a little wet. This might be bad. Farmer might be really mad at me. Oh, yeah. Come on. Oh, man. Uh, you know when you start lunging ahead when you're trying to get your tr the truck just to go and little bit farther alright alright I'm gonna do it I'm gonna try to flip it alright this is actually better in the field I don't luckily this field isn't planted right now it's just feral uh, I'm probably gonna have to go to the road or close to it then load the truck man Whoever's farm that is over there is giant. I mean, you're going to have to get a cart or something, like a go-kart or something, just so you can drive it to your buildings. You're going to get winded just walking from your house to your buildings. I mean, are we, are we talking about a major farm here? Uh, that thing is huge. We are out of that. Thank goodness. All right, yeah. All right, so I'm gonna go across the field right here. Now, I get the great pleasure of walking back to my John Deere. 
So, I think this is Jake's farm. It's just like walking across his farm. But I don't have to do it all the time. That is a giant farm there. Pretty good layout. Pretty good layout. Other than it's about 180 acres worth of land. But pretty good layout. What? I thought I left this thing running. This thing better start. That's weird. I don't know why this thing shut off. That shouldn't have happened. Alright. Gonna try to stay out of this guy's land. Surprised I didn't leave more tracks in that field. I really like these corn stalks over here. The textures in this uh, land here in Nebraska just seem so much more real. All right, let's get back, because we still have multiple... Oh, 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 man, I almost hit that fence. Gotta stay away from that mud. All right, let's get up here, put this on the trailer. There we go. All right, shut that off. Now let's ratchet this back down again. All right. I guess we're gonna have to go this way because you can't really turn around on these roads. I really can't get over how flat it was. So where I grew up in Nebraska, it was flat. I was actually on the Great Plains, but where I grew up, there was what they call center pivots or circles, which basically if you flew, fly over a state like Nebraska, you see them all over. Uh, you see round circles in the field and them are basically pivots usually each one is a quarter of land which is like one-fourth of a mile by mile piece of land approximately 160 acres but when I grew up that was basically all we farmed because uh, the climate wasn't really the best for raising corn uh, corn has since changed so the genetics of corn so you can have a, you can have better yields off of dry land which and it seems like the climate has changed recently too so which is good because it looks like we have mostly dry land around here so we are still looking for a little piece of land. Don't exactly know. Oh, look at that big Victorian house over there. That's kind of nice. Really like this small town feel here. We got a big Dollar General here. Not too shabby. I'm kind of liking this small town. I've I'm the type of person that prefers to live in a small town. I don't want to live in a big town. I know a lot of people do, but to me, I'd much rather just live in a small town. What the heck? Is that the only looking mound? It's weird because that's not even that high of a little mound and it's like the highest point of this whole area. That actually might be our piece of land. Our little uh, quarter of land we bought. Uh, I think so. I don't know about this. So, obviously, I bought this sight unseen. And, uh, yeah. This looks like it's run down. This is, uh, uh, I guess my trailer or house. Yeah. Yeah, this, this farmyard is definitely, uh, seen its day. Well, 
Uh, we already signed the papers, so it's no use backing out now. I, I really can see why we got it for such a good price. Land nowadays is extremely expensive. So this crop land, which the soil actually feels really good. Like, I'm pretty sure this is nice, rich uh, corn growing soil or soybeans so this actually looks pretty good looks like there's a nice uh, ranch over there that we probably should have bought instead of this yeah I don't know what to think about this this is definitely uh, not what I thought it was going to look like uh, I mean we got a pretty good good piece of land it's right next to the city so I mean basically we're right on the outskirts of the city one thing bad about this is I don't know if we can have uh, animals this close to the city limits because city folks they don't like smelling the poo I don't think no one likes smelling the poo that didn't grow up on a farm to me I can't even smell it to be honest you just get used to it after years and years of growing up with it what can you do just gotta move on so obviously I need to find some contractors around here and build a house maybe I can rent some equipment and basically other than maybe these bins right here Maybe this Quonset. Is there anything in here? Ooh. We do have some tools in here. Well, I guess that's one win over everything else. We got some old tools in there. Uh, is anything in this barn? Nope. I'm surprised this barn's still standing. Knock on these bins. Yep. These bins ain't full, so that's probably good. I don't know if I'd like some wet grain I'd have to clean out or something. Uh, yeah, I'll park this up in there. I have no idea where I'm going to park it because I really have no farmyard. Especially not the farmyard down the road over there. Straight down where we got stuck. That farmyard's impressive. Alright, let's see if we can get this old girl up in there. Uh, yeah. I guess I'll just pull it up right here. I can't turn in this mud, apparently, but... I'll try not to bulldoze my, uh, house. That really reminds me of my pods I used to live in in Iraq. Well, at least it'll feel somewhat homely. Ooh, wow. All right, so I've been driving a while, so I'm pulling the silver bullet here and basically my silver Peterbilt. Uh, I got a great deal on B-Spine. I just couldn't pass up. I really was considering still bringing B-Spine here to Nebraska, but... Uh, somebody wanted that way more than I did. That harvester will be missed, but we got a good chunk of money off of it, and I'm really liking this uh, gleaner so far. Brings me back of when I was younger, driving it. Yeah, that is Grant over there. Looks like Grant made it pretty good. Uh, doesn't look like he's around right now, but would go and talk to him. I'm a little bit curious just to find out how the neighborhood is. Uh, you know, uh, give me uh, the heads up on anything I should know. Find out, you know, basically more about this town. Uh, possibly introduce me to some of the, you know, important people or good people around this town. And, uh, tell, point me to the right uh, direction on uh, contracting and businesses. That's all, you know, major concerns of mine because I'm, like, new. I'm from Nebraska, but I'm not from this town. So, 
Spring milk. Looks like we got a huge milk factory right there. We live, like, right next to it. Might end up staying there at the hotel, other than uh, staying at my uh, trailer here. We're here with our second load now. I'm going to have to wait a while, wait for my wife. So we do have one more load to uh, bring here. So one of the things we didn't sell was my uh, new Dodge truck just purchased. Uh, we got a great deal on a 8230 and then we grabbed our Vermeer Baylor. It's just uh, basically the corporation that ended up buying all the land really was giving fair prices for equipment, uh, for great deals out there. So I was pretty impressed by everything they did for us. You know, when you're driving down these straight highways, it's completely flat and everything. Talk about, you get a little sleepy. I mean, I've almost fell asleep at the wheel a couple times driving through. I mean, yeah, once in a while you'll go by a house like this, but then it's just cropland as far as you can see. Just forever out there. It gets a little tiring. I mean, all the roads here are just like completely straight. I mean, if you wanted to drag race, you really got a street to do it on over here in Nebraska. All right, looks like we are just pulling up to our turn here. No, I haven't met our neighbor yet. He probably isn't wants us to improve the neighborhood by bodozing our uh, trailer. All right, so I was trying to back these up into basically the barns uh yeah that didn't work uh if you see that's a little bit too big so old silver bullet will have to stay out for a little while uh i tried to go on the trailer yeah it i saw a few rats uh, a few mice in there basically decided with the stench and I'm pretty sure the sewage w sewer was backed up uh, I'm gonna go to the hotel yeah uh, I can't even get by here can I oh 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 yeah I can I guess it looked smaller than what it was supposed to but I'll be staying the night in the hotel uh, I'm definitely gonna need to find a contractor or somebody that can help me out. Anyways, thank you all for watching, and I will see you later here in the Husker State. Thank you all for watching. Like, comment, and share, and subscribe. See you next time.